Hi, I'm Rainy with Finance Strategist. In this lesson, we're going to cover Weighted Average Cost of Capital, or WACC, is the calculated cost of a company's financing. Companies have a capital structure, often with a mix of debt, such as bonds, and equity, such as common stock, and each source of financing carries associated costs. When calculating the weighted average cost of capital, each source's cost is weighted proportionately to the percentage that source comprises of the company's total capital structure. For example, company Half and Half has a capital structure of 50% debt and 50% equity. Their average cost of debt from the bonds they have issued is 7%. Because stocks do not carry a cost, they use the capital asset pricing model to estimate investors' expected rate of return, which comes out to 9%. Their weighted average cost of capital is therefore 8% prior to factoring in the tax deduction from interest payments being tax deductible. The formula for calculating the weighted average cost of capital is equity divided by equity plus debt times the cost of equity plus debt divided by equity plus debt times the cost of debt times one minus the corporate tax rate. The formula calculates the proportion of total equity to total financing multiplied by the cost of equity plus the proportion of total debt to total financing multiplied by the cost of debt, which is multiplied by one minus the corporate tax rate. The cost of equity is often calculated using the capital asset pricing model or dividend capitalization model. The total cost of debt is typically the stated interest rate minus the tax benefit derived from interest payments being tax deductible. The weighted average cost of capital is often used as the discount rate when calculating the value of future cash flows and is often the required return necessary to invest in a new project. The weighted average cost of capital is often the hurdle rate compared against a company's return on invested capital, or ROIC. A weighted average cost of capital higher than the return on invested capital suggests that the cost of a company's capital is greater than the return on that capital. If a company determines that they have a weighted average cost of capital that is too high, they may reduce the cost of equity by lowering their risk characteristics, change the capital structure to include more debt, or try renegotiating outstanding debt. Let's hear from you. Should you invest in a company that has a higher cost of capital than return on invested capital? Leave a comment below. For more information, visit www.financestrategist.com. Finance Strategists, strategies for your future.